Hello viewers, friends, and subscribers, it's AG, and in my possession is this. Boom. Nintendo Wii. Now guys, why would I go with a Nintendo Wii? Why, 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 why? I mean, obviously, the answer is simple. Last year, I made a video kind of going back and forth between PS3 and Xbox 360. PS3 was the gold digger. Xbox 360 started to look good because Resident Evil 5 came out. And I was like, wow, I really want to play Resident Evil 5. But I really wanted a PS3 because it had Blu-ray. And it has a whole bunch of awesome games. But then I called PS3 a gold digger because it's so expensive. I mean, it still holds true today. Probably the biggest thing about this is that it's only 200 bucks. I mean, the money issue is a problem for a lot of people, and for me, it's no different. I really held out on this because I really wanted to wait until it was really worth buying, in my opinion. So when I was at E3 this year, I looked up and watched the Metroid Other M trailer, and it ended and said August 31st. And I said, well, that's when I'm going to get Nintendo Wii. Of course, it didn't, and I just got it the next day on September 1st. Either way, pretty much the same time. So here's Metroid Other M. I'm sure a lot of you have already beaten it already because I've seen in the comments there's some of you that actually played this or bought this the first day it came out and then beat it the first day it came out. I don't know how you guys do that. I mean, I mean, I guess I do, but I don't know where you guys have the time to do that. I mean, that's cool, I guess, but I mean, I've probably only gotten a couple hours in because I have other things to do, but it's been pretty damn good so far. Uh, whoops, dropped it. And then, of course, this week came with Wii Sports Resort and Wii Sports. I don't know if I'm holding it right, you know. This uses the Wii Motion Plus, which is pretty cool. I actually really like this. It's, it's fun, you know. It's kind of kind of lame to play it by yourself, but I would need to get another Wii Motion Plus to play it with someone else, which kind of sucks. And this hasn't been opened because I played this death when everyone else bought a Wii before I did. So, Nintendo Wii. $199. It came with the console, the nunchuck, of course, this is like mandatory. The Wii Motion Plus would have been like $20 extra with the white Wii, and then two games. That's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. So I went with Wii. Of course, I've been, always been loyal to Nintendo. I love Nintendo to death. That's probably the second reason why I went with Wii. But I still think eventually I'll get a PS3 over Xbox 360. Over the years, I think I've realized that Microsoft and their console, it seems to be like they rushed it. I mean, the whole Red Ring of Death thing, if you think about it, why do they even have a Red Ring of Death to begin with? They knew the console would fail like that. I mean, why have a Red Wing of Death to begin with? I mean, did I just say Red Wing of Death? I don't know. Ring of Death. Why? I don't know. Um, and then they came out with the new Xbox 360 Slim or whatever it's called. Obviously, people, obviously, it was a scam from day one. They made all these Xbox 360s, they failed on you, and, you know, I know some of you actually sent your systems back to Microsoft, and then they sent it back to you, and then they just fail again. So they can come out with these new consoles that probably work now. I mean, I know there's a failure a failure rate for every console. I mean, I know Xbox is through the roof. PS3 has like a minor failure rate, and we it's almost non-existent. But I'm sorry. I mean, Xbox 360 is not one of my choices at this point. So eventually, I'll get a PS3 down the road. I'm, I'm guessing when the price drops. But I am happy with this so far. The only thing that I noticed is when I went to Best Buy the other day, I looked at the Wii library, and I noticed this before also, is that the Wii library reminds me of the GameCube library, whereas there's only a handful of games amongst an ocean of crap games. Now, me saying this, you're going to say, well, AG, why did you even buy the Wii if it has a whole bunch of crap games? Well, if you think about it, there's a lot of consoles that have a lot of crap games, and then a handful of really great games, but... I PS3 probably has a lot more great games than the bad games. See, I don't really know. I mean, I looked at the PS3's library, and it's almost the same thing. There's a lot of games on the shelf that I wasn't really interested in. 
And then there's only like a handful that I would want to buy. Like if I had a PS3, I would probably buy like Street Fighter 4. I would buy Metal Gear Solid 4. I would buy like Resident Evil 5. You know, stuff like that. And uh, for the Wii, it's it's good for me because I don't have the time to play games like I used to. So buying these handful of games that the Wii has, like Other M just came out. And there's some of you that already beat it in uh, one day, like I just talked about. And I'm like, that's crazy because I've only gone through a couple hours. So stuff like that, it will keep me busy for a while. And, you know, I'll eventually go on to Smash Brothers and I'll eventually go on to Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2. You know, stuff like that. Like, there's a handful of great Wii games that will keep me busy and I'm satisfied. So, it's just the obvious choice. It's it's great that I finally got one. I mean, seriously guys, when I opened the box to this, it was like Christmas morning for me. I was really scared of actually buying it. Cause I was like, oh, I don't know if I should. No, I was like, do I have the money? I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Just forget it. I, I got to get it. You know, I told myself I would. I mean, why not? It's, it's not like I make huge purchases all the time. I'm really, really been frugal for the past year. So, like, you know what? Why not? And here we are. So, if you guys have a Nintendo Wii, why do you like it? I mean, I told you why I like it. The great games, a handful of games that it has, like Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2, Smash Brothers Brawl. We got Red Steel 2, I heard it was actually pretty good. Other M, you know, Nintendo games. Love them to death. The new Zelda's coming out. We still got Donkey Kong Country Returns. We have the new GoldenEye remake, which I'll probably... I don't know if I'll buy it, but I'll probably rent it first. Stuff like that. Like, games I really would love to buy because Nintendo raised me. I mean... Fanboy? Yes. If you want to call me that, yeah, we already agreed. That's what I am. But at the same time, it's just because, you know, they pretty much raised me when I was a kid. I mean, I grew up with Nintendo, and... I probably will die with Nintendo, but I wouldn't mind getting a PS3 eventually. It's not like I'm those kind of fanboys like I was when I was a kid, when I would be like, Sega sucks, Sonic sucks, I'm never going to play Sonic, I'm never going to play Sega. And uh, it's not like that anymore, you know, you just you grow out of that kind of stuff. But Nintendo, you're never too old to play Mario, you're never, old, never too old to play Zelda, and you're never too old to play Nintendo. So let me know, guys, why you still play Wii, why you still play Nintendo games to begin with. I love it. I hope you love it. We'll see you next time. Peace.